that ain't no Twix bar. Give me the answer or I'm taking the point. Empire Strikes Back to the Future. Oh, crack me run. Hey, you may have won the last round, but once again we see there is nothing that you can possess which I can't take away. Ditto, asshole. All right, then. Prepare to die. Mm. <coughs> a time traveler attempts to stop a virus from decimating the Persian army. That ain't no Twix bar. You might want to exhale. <coughs> and salutations. Aye. He's not Mike, but he is a big loser. And he ain't not, but he is a flaming cock kebab. I will get that title. I will laugh greatly at your failure. Now, before we begin tonight, we would like to introduce to you a friend of ours. This is Galactica. He has served us well these past three and a half years. Uh, last three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but sadly, our journey with Galactica must come to an end. You know, I remember when we first found him. He's actually a new version of a much older model. A very old, very bad model. A lot of people didn't want to try him out just for that reason alone. You know, we had him for two days originally. Yep. But roughly within the first 15 minutes, we were sold. Oh, yeah. We have had an amazing ride with Galactica. But sadly, it is time for retirement. We may not like it, but we do think it is the right decision. We will miss you, Galactica. Oh, yeah. But we do have many, many fond memories. So say we all. Have you people figured out we're talking about the show yet? Well, if you haven't, do us all a favor, kill yourself. And remember, it's down the highway, not cross the street. For the rest of you, that's right, Nuggets. Tonight's show is about Ron Moore's Battlestar Galactica. Or as we like to call it, the, the greatest, greatest piece of science fiction on television in the history of history, history period. period. Now, this is no mere fan geeky dick wave at a convention booth. Oh, no. We've done the research. Oh, yes. And for the past six minutes, we've done nothing but watch various science fiction shows. We've compared, contrasted, and come to the inescapable conclusion that 99% of them suck. As much as I would love to be whacking the limey in the head right now, for that I can't, because he's right. Say that again. You're right. <laughs> One more time? Not going to happen, asshole. Mm, hurts, doesn't it? Like having acid poured out of my mouth onto my sack. This day just keeps getting better. But I can't hit him for that. Ow! Now, we've said it before, Ron Moore is to sci-fi what extends is to the collective male <laughs> ego. Now, not only is he the only man to make Star Trek interesting... Come on, he killed Kirk like a bitch. That alone makes him an earthbound god. But with BSG, not only has he created the, the greatest remake, remake in the history of history, history period, period, but he has also completely redefined the genre. Now, we will get back to blowing smoke up Ron Moore's ass in a second, but first... We thought a little backstory was in order. And so, Mackinac, in association with Aunt Edna's Butter Crusted Lard Flakes, the breakfast cereal for people who've just given up, are proud to present the complete history of sci-fi on TV. Abridged. Now, in the beginning, the people suffered greatly, for their stories did not translate well to television. No, no. No? The scripts were bad. Oh, yeah. The acting retarded. And the special effects look like they were done by retarded actors. The worst sin. Oh, ugh, the worst sin. One show actually had a character named Winky. Yeah, Winky. Google Rocky Jones. Oh, wait, don't. It was a dark time indeed, folks. <laughs> and had the children of the 50s not discovered pot in the 60s, who knows what sort of dangers would have been wrought. And on to these stoners, Gene Roddenberry delivered, oh, Star Trek. And while it was still badly written, Spock's brain, the turnabout intruder, and badly acted, Spock's brain, the, the turnabout, turnabout intruder. intruder, the special effects were done by actual special effects people, granted kind of dumb ones, and the writing, when it wasn't about space pirates, Kirk's boner of the week, or Sulu's sweaty nipples, was actually pretty good. And the fan geeks did be drawn to this. Oh yeah. Well, Star Trek begat four children, three of which were more or less the same characters reenacting the same stories, but the last one, Deep Space Nine, had a lot of help from Mr. Ron Moore, oh, yeah. which made it quite different. It was very well written and good. Six, five, four, tangent! We take you now to not-so-great Britain, where, with the help of a traditional English sea shanty, we gonna tell you about what kind of sci-fi the line is like. Hey, three, two, one. Travel with the doctor. He's an alien from Gallifrey. Present. 
past or future, he will make things worse than save the day. Daleks, Cybermen, Centaurans too, when will the BBC make something new? Never when you're with the Doctor, you will have a pretty good time. In fact, the same time you passed in 64! Now, to be honest, the new version of Doctor Who is pretty damn good, it's just the same goddamn show. You know, when the Doctor first arrived in America in the 1970s, people flocked to it in droves. Oh, yeah. Mainly because they hadn't seen the first 20 seasons, so it was new to them, and the sci-fi that they had to watch was... How should we describe this? As entertaining as having your pucker bright open with a penguin. Perfect! Thank you. There was Quark story about an intergalactic garbage scow, which was later remade into Star Trek Enterprise. Uh -oh. There was Buck Rogers in the 25th century, which featured an astronaut falling asleep for 500 years and returning to a post-apocalyptic Earth covered with devastation, white spandex, and talking dildos. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Open up, Wilma. And of course, we have the original Battlestar Galactica, Ugh. starring Lord Green as God and some sort of monkey in a robot dog suit. <laughs> now, the show was cancelled after only one season, but its creator, Glenn Larson, who was responsible for Buck Rogers, absolutely had to continue his story even though nobody wanted him to. And so we got Galactica 1980, which was entertaining as, oh, how should we describe this one? Like having a cuda crammed with a cod. Correct. Which brings us right back to where we started blowing smoke up Ron Moore's ass. <coughs> but first...